Beer is a social beverage, but sometimes we need a game to facilitate some quality human bonding. Today we'll be looking at some of the best drinking games from throughout beer's several thousand year history. Hello beer nerds, welcome to Beer by the Numbers, the show where we examine the facts and figures surrounding the most liberal libation in the world, beer. What's a great party without some drinking games? Today we'll go over a brief history of drinking games, and maybe we'll find that some are worth trying at your next party. Most drinkers have played cornhole or beanbag toss, but this game has its roots in ancient China with a game called Pitch Pot. Players would stand at a set distance away from a pot and take turns throwing arrows into that pot. When a player has a successful entry, they graciously fill the cup of the vanquished. A fuddling cup was as much a puzzle as it was a drinking game and first appeared in 17th century England. The object of the game was to drink from these strange vessels without spilling a drop. Attempting to drink normally would result in beer being splashed on the drinker. Instead, one would have to try to suck from the jug's holes using a tube hidden in the jug's handle. Staying in jolly old England, pennying is a simple game where participants try to sneak a penny into someone's beer in order to make them chug it. Cambridge and Oxford argue about many things, including who developed pennying, but at one point the game was so popular that simply attending either university was an implicit agreement to play the game. The berating of those who refuse to play by these rules have led to pennying bans at many English universities. Heading back to China, Wobbly Dolls was a slightly racist game played during the Warring States period. A bunch of wobbly dolls that were crudely painted like western foreigners were wobbled in the middle of a table, and whoever they pointed to when they fell was who had to drink. As with most ancient Chinese drinking games, if you tried to drop out, you were branded a coward and possibly banned from ever playing again. Finally, we have a game where the point is not to get your opponent drunk, but rather to avoid suffering in sobriety. Passatella is an ancient Italian drinking game in which a game is played or lots are drawn to determine a boss and an underboss. Then all players would chip in to buy a round of drinks. The boss and underboss would distribute the round of drinks as they saw fit, usually with an elaborate and expletive-laden speech about why each player was or was not receiving a drink. Those denied drinks would usually seek vengeance in the next round if they became the new boss, and games usually ended in violence when a more sober player became tired of seeing everyone else drink on their dime. If you enjoyed this video and would give it a drink in a game of Passatella, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you want to know every time we tap a fresh episode of Beer by the Numbers, hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our Twitter page. We post cool beer facts there all the time. Stay curious, beer nerds, and as Washington Irving once said, those who drink beer will think beer.